All right, let's talk about the newest RuneScape 3 client, NXT. It was released today in closed beta, and I got access to it. And I can tell you, it is amazing. Like, everything is better about the newer client than pretty much people w were hyping the client so much. And it is well very well deserved. First of all, it's not Java anymore. When you think about RuneScape, it's like, oh, it's that Java game that I used to play. It's not Java, it's C++ now. The frame rate is unlocked, the draw distance is huge, the compatibility issues, like the you have a really powerful PC, but it just, it's, it's so poorly optimized that it will still lag if you go to like Grand Exchange. You would get like 20 FPS if there are a lot of people in the same area. It's still kind of the, the same case. It's not really the same, but... Um, you will get your frames dropped if there are a lot of people, but not as much. So that's what I tried to test out. This was the, my very first destination, Grand Exchange World 3, which is free to play. Okay, so what's different about NXT than what we have at the moment? The draw distance, that's a major one. If, if you look around, you can see so far away, and it looks beautiful. By the way, if you see enemies really far, far away, you will not be able to click on them. But I think it they made it bigger, like um, the, the click distance. You can still click for far away, but if it's really far away, you will not be able to attack or talk to enemies or even see them, depending how far away you are. But also it made the world seem to be very small. Like there are places where it's really crowded. There are just so many trees in one place. Like I can't see anything. Please, like just cut down some trees or something. Or, or... really the world looks much smaller. That was uh, a big issue that a lot of people addressed. But it actually looks smaller. But of course there are places that look just amazing like this one. This is Moritania Slayer Tower entrance. And it, I think it's one of the best looking places in RuneScape right now. Like those gargoyles are moving and it just this atmosphere. It's so dark and if you're playing with sounds it actually plays n normal sounds. Like when you think about RuneScape everyone turns off the sounds. But now you can feel it. It no longer has loading screens. You know those annoying screens if you run somewhere and it says loading please wait. You no longer have them. And it feels so weird sometimes when you go into a dungeon. You, your brain just automatically thinks oh there is going to be a loading screen for, for a little bit. No there is no loading screen. Uh, I think when you go to into a cave your screen goes black for a little bit. But that's not compensating. It's not actually loading anything. It's not like... Oh, it, it still has the loading screen. No, it does not have. Uh, if you take a boat from Karamja, let's say, to Port Saddam, it will not have anything. Like you're expecting for a loading screen, there is no loading screen. The water, of course. We went from very plain blue that was back in like 2007 and gradually it became better and better and now we have something like this. Good job on the water. But again, if you look around, it kind of... It feels small a little, a little bit. There's just so many trees. Also, the old client was 4 gigabytes only. You could not see it, but as you progress in the game, you would download files to your computer. And it was 4 gigabytes, and now it's 10. I don't know. It feels like this is this fulfilled my expectations. This is exactly what I wanted to see, it's especially the performance, like the FPS, like 300 FPS. Are you kidding me? Like. I had a pretty decent PC at the time. I think I do still. But when, whenever I would get like 20 FPS playing RuneScape, I mean, come on, my PC obviously can handle it. What is this bullshit? Uh, so it's, even loading please wait screens could go up to like two seconds. Even though my PC was fast enough. Okay, I can think of two things that I did not like that much. One would be the world feels small, just like I said, just too many things in one place and it does not feel enjoyable to walk around those places. And two, uh, you know when you're in dungeons and you can see like other dungeons that are not even related to anything? When I'm in dungeon, I can see trees, you know? I can literally see trees. What the hell? So, but again, this is in beta. That's the thing. You have to report that kind of stuff and they will hopefully fix it.
All right, that's going to be all for this video. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you play the client, hopefully you enjoyed playing on, on the new one because the experience is amazing. I'm telling you, okay, they, they will, they, the client will not let you down. Thank you for watching.